A recent study published in the journal Allergy explored long-term immune changes in unvaccinated COVID-19 patients, focusing on humoral and cellular immunity over 10 months post-infection. The COVID-19 pandemic has had a profound impact globally, with long-term sequelae, known as post-acute sequelae of COVID-19, PASC, or long COVID, affecting multiple organ systems and resulting in symptoms like fatigue, brain fog, and cardiovascular issues. The study conducted by researchers in Austria, followed up on a previous analysis of immune parameters in unvaccinated individuals 10 weeks after their first SARS-CoV-2 infection. This new study aimed to assess changes in immune parameters 10 months after the initial infection. It included 106 participants with confirmed COVID-19 infections and a matched control group of uninfected individuals. Researchers re-evaluated the participants' immune status, measuring antibody levels against SARS-CoV-2 spike receptor binding domain, and nucleocapsid proteins. They also conducted neutralization assays to assess the ability of these antibodies to inhibit the binding of the receptor binding domain with the angiotensin converting enzyme 2, ACE2, receptor. Participants were categorized based on antibody waning, and leukocyte subsets were analyzed using multiparametric flow cytometry. Additionally, cytokine levels, including interleukins, EL, natural killer, NK, and T-cell interferon gamma, IFN gamma, and immunoglobulin, Ig, E levels were measured using multiplex technology. The study found that individuals who had recovered from COVID-19 had lower absolute counts of monocytes, granulocytes, and lymphocytes compared to healthy controls. Neutrophil levels were also significantly lower in the infected group. Elevated levels of CD38 and human leukocyte antigen DR isotype, HLA-DR, indicated higher CD8 plus cytotoxic T-cell counts, which remained elevated in severe cases but returned to baseline and mild to moderate cases within 10 months. The researchers suggested that these findings align with theories of extensive tissue damage or long-term antigen persistence in severe COVID-19 cases. They also noted persistent activation of T-cells due to elevated IL-4 and IL-17A levels. The study observed elevated levels of effector memory cells in plasma blasts, alongside decreased regulatory T cells. Antibody levels against SARS-CoV-2 proteins declined over time, especially in younger patients, though changes in T cells and thymic emigrants were independent of antibody levels. The study highlighted that SARS-CoV-2 infections lead to long-term alterations in both adaptive and innate immunity, with changes in immune cells and cytokine profiles contributing to our understanding of long COVID mechanisms.